Welcome everyone. So this question, a lot of people did not even solve. They did not even attempt this question. Why? Because they thought that there are two variables. Okay. And if there are two variables, your mathematical logic says that you need to have two equations to solve these kind of questions. But here in this case, you can actually solve this with a very simple logic. Okay. So what happens over here is, can I say this, this is a positive number? Right, and if this is a positive number, so here also can I say pi raised to x will be greater than pi raised to y. Right, only then in that case when you subtract these two, you will get a positive answer. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. So here in this case, what we'll do is and see this is not a decimal number; it's a proper integer. So I can also write pi raised to x as nothing but what? We'll write this as nothing but what? Pi raised to y plus some value. Right? And we'll continue the pi raised to y as it is. So now your question changes to what? Pi raised to x. Sorry. Instead of x, what we'll do is we'll write y plus k minus pi raised to y equals to 3000. Okay? Let's write this again one more time over here and I'll solve it over here. And in that page, we'll do the final uh, substitution and check whatever answers we got is right or not. Okay. So now understand in indices, when you have A raised to M plus N means the index has a positive sign or addition between two indices and it's raised to the same base. Then you can write this as nothing but what A raised to M into A raised to N. Okay, similarly, if you had negative m minus n, then you would have done what? a raised to m upon a raised to n. This is something which you need to remember always. So, I'll write this as nothing but what? phi raised to y into phi raised to k minus phi raised to y equals to 3000. Now, if you look closely, your phi raised to y is common. So, let's take it out. Okay, so what happens is that you will be left with pi raised to k minus 1. But now you are stuck. Why are you stuck? Because after this you can't do much. But instead, instead of just focusing on your LHS, let's look at our RHS. See, understand, whenever you are not able to find any, any more substitution you can't do any, on your LHS, then try to do something on this side. Okay, so what we'll try is we'll try to write this in terms of what? 5 raised to some power, some power, okay, and then it will get multiplied to something because see, understand 3000 is not the perfect uh, power of 5, okay. So, here we'll try to factorize, we'll try to factorize 3000 as much as possible in terms of 5. So, 5 the gets you what 600, then again in 5, you will get what 120. Now, again with 5, you will get 24. But apart, after this, you can't do anything. So, what we can do is, we can write this as nothing but what 5 cube into 24. We will write 24 as it is. Please understand, you don't need to factorize this further because why? There is a hint given here in your LHS. Your entire factorization of 3000 has to be written in terms of what? 5 raised to some power and then something which is left over. Okay. So, your 5 raised to y, we will continue to write your LHS as it is. So, now obviously, I can say that both of them can get equated. Why? Because both of them have raised to power of, uh, sorry, both of them have the base of 5. Okay. So, I can say therefore, 5 raised to y equals to 5 cube. Therefore, y equals to 3. Now, what happens in this case is, I can also say phi raised to k minus 1 gets you 24. Okay, obviously, because this is equal to phi raised to 3, then obviously, phi raised to k, phi k raised to minus, sorry, phi raised to k minus 1 will be equal to what? The leftover number, which is 24. So, now again, like we always do, we'll keep your variable on one side of your equal to. So, we'll get phi raised to k equals to 25 okay, sorry 25 so now if you see closely 5 raised to k and 25 is nothing but what 5 square 
I'll write this properly. Therefore, I can say value of k is nothing but just 2. I hope this is very, very clear to every one. You saw how easily we could figure out. See, please understand that this was the only important step. This step and this step. These two steps, if you can figure out, then your entire uh, logic of only one equation and two variables, you can't find. No, no, no. All of that doesn't happen. In this way, you can easily find out. Okay. So now, here, going back, I can say that phi raised to y is nothing but what? y equals to 3 and x is equals to what y plus k that is what 3 plus k was what 5 square that is 2 so can i say therefore i can say x equals to 5 so now let's try and put this in your lhs see please understand students not necessary every time you will get time for your substitutions but I request all of my students that you try to be very good at your calculations. If you are very good at your calculations, you will literally save more than 5 minutes from the rest of the crowd. Okay, when you do that, you can actually go back and solve these kind of questions. And just for your confidence, you will know whether you have done it right or wrong. So now this race becomes what? 5 raised to 5 minus 5 raised to 3. Okay. Now, before going ahead, I want to remind all of y'all that if you are new, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button because that literally gives me a lot of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. And also, every single day I am uploading minimum, minimum two videos. Now, all of these videos are actually given to me as problems or as queries from my subscribers. They either put it in the comment sections of my videos or they even email me personally, okay? So, whatever works for y'all, you can check that out okay and if you have doubts please put your doubts in the comment section and if you want my email id this is given in the description below also you can follow me on instagram with the same name okay i hope this is very very clear to every one so now going back let's do the resubstitution phi is to phi see please understand phi is to phi is nothing but just what phi is to 5 can also be written as 5 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 2. 5 raised to 3 is nothing but what? 125 into 25. When you do that, when you do the multiplication, you will get as nothing but what? 3, 1, 2, 5. And here I know the 5 cube value is nothing but what? Minus 125. So when you subtract 3, 1, 2, 5. So when you subtract 125 from 3, 1, 2, 5, your final answer comes out to be 3000. Now you see that is the RHS of your answer. So I hope this is very very clear to everyone. So the answer for this one is X value is 5 and Y value is 3. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.